Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. This week we are using a stamp set called Warms My Heart. Really cute. Um, it's drawn in the style of uh, stamps that we have had a line of, really a series of, the way that they're drawn. Um, this one really spoke to me just, well, I mean, first it has pumpkins, so of course, um, but also just the fall nature of it, I guess, and just how cute it is. So that's what we're gonna be using today. Uh, we're gonna make two cards and a box, of course. Hello, everybody. Okay, let me see if I can find you guys. Hopefully you've had a good week. Time is just flying by, isn't it? Just going so fast. I can't believe we're already here, Friday again. Again, October. It's my favorite. Well, yeah, October's my favorite month and it just goes by too fast. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. All right, um, let's talk about Club Create. Uh, Club Create this month is using the Winterly Treetops Bundle, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with, the cute little birds. And it's gonna be a gift set of cards. Um, they could easily be turned into Christmas cards, but I designed them specifically to not be my, uh, to not be Christmas cards so that you could use them after Christmas because this is November's Club Create Kit, which means you won't get it until the end of November. So I felt like maybe that was a little too late for Christmas. Maybe not, but maybe, right? You could do it after Christmas. Club Create uh, comes, it's a subscription, it's my subscription club, it comes like this. You get about $25 in product in your kit each month, five projects, PDF and a video, um, and it's $45, and that also includes shipping. Um, on your sixth month, you get a $25 product credit. Um, you can join and drop out anytime you want, there's no commitment, uh, there's no penalty, you can sign for one month and drop totally fine, or you can stick around and get that six month bonus. Um, if you look right here, Club Create is ready for October. Um, unfortunately, they shorted me 11 of the embellishments. I didn't, I didn't count them when they came, and so uh, day before yesterday when I was sorting them out, I was short, and now they're out of stock. So I'm like, they're supposed to be back on Monday, so hopefully, Club Create people, I'll get you out in time, we'll see. Actually, they're supposed to ship on Monday, so most of them will go out on time. 11 of you will have to wait a couple days. I don't know how that happened, because Stampin' Up! is really good about making sure that your boxes have what they're supposed to. They have this system where they can weigh the box, and like the computer knows how much it should weigh, you know, depending on whatever the product is, and then they can always tell if something's missing. So I don't know what happened, it's very odd. They're very, very light, so maybe that's why. I don't know. Anyhow, um, the deadline for November's Club Create is November 7th, so you've got lots of time to subscribe if you are interested in that. Um, okay, let me turn you guys around. Let's see if I can do this quickly. Um, the card class that we have going, coming up. The deadline is Wednesday. All right, let me get you guys situated. There we go. Um, I feel like I just announced this stamp stack class and already it's the deadline is coming. So the deadline is Wednesday. It's the um, cute little Christmas friends uh, bundle and you're going to get supplies to make 10 cards, two of each design. And um, there is a PDF instruction. There's no like online class time where you have to show up. It's a PDF. And there's a video, a coloring video, if you will. So if you want some coloring instruction, let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Was that too far? I can't tell. You don't want to see my shoes and my stomachs. Okay, you don't want to go that far. Okay, there, that looks better. Still a little bit crooked. Um, so anyway, the deadline for this class is Wednesday. So if you want to get this stamp a stack in the mail, let me know and I will send you the registration link. I'm going to start working on those on Monday. Okay, leave it alone. I'm obsessing. All right. You, um, in this class, you're going to get half a pack of paper, a pack of metallic adhesive back gems and a bolt of ribbon plus all 10 cards. Um, you can get it with the bundle or without the bundle. You will need the bundle to make the cards 
or of course you can always use whatever you have. If you don't want that bundle, you can use whatever cute critters you have. Um, but if you get the um, if you get the class kit that includes the bundle, I've actually actually sub subtracted the ribbon cost, so you're getting the ribbon for free. All right, so that is that. Um, details on that are on my blog, uh, pinkbuckaroo.com. Also, today's PDF has the the link to the post, so you can go read about it. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is um, the retreat to go. Um, it's not full yet. I know some of you were like panicky that it was going to sell out. It's not. It hasn't sold out. Um, we got. We got. We're good. We're good. We, I'm sure it'll be open for at least a, a week or so. Um, it is the reindeer days, and it is going to be so cute. The bag that it's going to come in this year is probably my favorite bag ever. Um, you're going to get eight projects, about fifty dollars in product, and some surprises from me. There's going to be little what we call pillow gifts. The reason we call them pillow gifts is because if you were to go to a real retreat, we would leave you a little gift each night, you know, theoretically on your pillow, but probably on your desk <laughs> where you're working. So I include those in the box um, as well. So if you're interested in this, they will ship right before Thanksgiving. So you'll work, you'll have the beginning of December to work on them or whenever you want. Um, it, that all the projects will use the reindeer fun bundle and you can add that onto your kit as well. And I, if you do that, I pay tax and shipping. And then there's an add on class, which I will show you guys next week. Cause I am going to open that add on class for those of you that don't want the retreat. It's the uh, sweetest star, you know, the stamps at this little Santa star. It's a stamp a stack sweetest. Oh, say that real fast. Five times stamp a stack sweetest sweetest star class to go all right so that is coming as well hello everybody thanks for sharing joan i appreciate it all right so that is that you have to email me for that registration link as well um stand up says we can't put those links directly on our blog or facebook if they include products so that's why you have to email me for that link um also if you're on my email list i email them out so you should have it in your inbox so if you hate to like, oh, send me an email, and I know it's annoying, then just get on my email list and then the email is automatically gonna come to you with the link for you to register. All right, starter kit special for October. We are about a little more than halfway done with October. Um, if you've been thinking about the starter kit, it's a fabulous deal. It is $99 and you choose $155 of product of your choice. That can be annual catalog, that can be holiday catalog, that could be clearance rack, online exclusives, or even pre-order from the products that are coming out in November. Um, free shipping, so it's $99 plus tax. Uh, then you'll get 20% off your purchases after that, or you will make 20% off your friends' purchases. Um, you get early access to the catalogs, the new catalogs. Um, we have a demonstrator event in March that you'll be eligible to attend. Um, and then if you join my team, if you buy the starter kit from me, you'll get all my PDFs for free. We have a team blog that where I upload them. They get my PDFs for free every month. Um, you get discounted class kits. Uh, we swap, we do a long distance swap every month if you like to do that. We have challenges, prizes, and of course, you'll make some friends. So if you're interested in the um, starter kit, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says um, join and you can click that and it'll give you all the details. Or if you have questions, you can email me. Mary Alice just asked me, will you be doing anything with decorative trees? Absolutely, I love that bundle. And in fact, today I was trying to figure out what I'm gonna do next week. And I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I just have a hard time like getting on board with Christmas. I, it's like, I, I don't wanna, I don't want to rush fall and so we're going to do one more week I think of fall stuff um the scenic pumpkin patch and then I think the following week Mary Alice will be decorative trees because I really do like that bundle it's really really cool okay so that is that uh the new paper pumpkin subscription period has opened it's these cute little um uh, stockings so if you like those kinds of things, make sure you subscribe. And then our kits are on sale this month, 30% up to 30% off, even our brand new kit, which I meant to show you guys. 
What did I what did I do with that box? Did I put it over here? Did I show you guys this kit last week? I don't think I did. This is one of the new kits. It's called a look back kit. And it's like a little mini scrapbook type kit, right? It's just, you know, kind of a journal almost. And it's cute. But then I looked at the spiral and I almost lost my mind because it's so cute. It's pink and black and white. And I didn't even realize it. And look over here. There's even a black and white gingham page. Oh my gosh, so cute. So if you like this, check it out in our kits department. It's included in the sale as well. As well. Um, this would make a great gift. If you have somebody in your life who you're like, I don't know what to buy for them. This is a great gift. Um, they can turn this into a journal slash scrapbook type situation, or they can use it for, you know, keeping notes, whatever. It's, it's the cutest notebook we've ever had. So check that out. Click the kits tab at the top of, uh, Stampin' Up! website and you'll see it. Let's see. Is this the other one? The other one. Yeah. The other new one is called Alpine Air and it is a stamping kit. I was being a ding dingy blonde at our team meeting on Monday. And I was like, there's no stamp in here. And then I realized it was actually in the box. Um, so, so it does come with Misty Moonlight and a little sentiment stamp and it's cards. Um, and they're kind of like that watercolor. I don't know if you guys can see that watercolor uh, look really pretty. All right. So those are our two new kits. Stampin' Up! introduces two new kits every single month, which is really fun. If you like kits, it's fun to see what they come out with. All right, that is it for announcements. Let's look at prizes. Melissa Morales, you are the winner from last week's uh, Facebook Friday. Melissa, I think I, I have your, your mailing address. Just, you know, that could be a common name, so email me just to verify. I just, I tell you guys, you would be surprised how many duplicate names I have. And it's not always like a super common name either. Um, that has gotten me in trouble in the past. <laughs> Assuming one person is the same person and they're not. So, Melissa, I think I know who you are. But just in case, email me and I will send you the Frozen Edges bundle. Thanks for sharing my um, video last week. I appreciate it. This week, my, the prize is going to be Snowy Wonder. Very cute. This is, was our Club Create kit this month. Um, so, if you would like to win the Snowy Wonder... Uh, bundle. All you have to do is share either on Facebook or on YouTube. Let me know in the comments that you shared and I'll pick somebody at random next week. Okay, last but not least, Facebook Friday. If you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I'm glad you're here. I pick a product each week and then we make uh, three projects with it. Um, this week we're using the Warms My Heart. You guys, what are the other stamp sets that are drawn like this? Um, Coffee with Friends is the one that is popping into my mind, but there's been so many. I would say probably, I don't know, eight or ten stamp sets that are, that are people drawn like this. Very, very cute. Um, I actually really like my projects this week. I mean, I normally like my projects, but I, I struggle when it comes to these um, people stamp sets. I don't know why. I, For whatever reason, I seem to have trouble. But this week, I did not have trouble. I love them. They're so cute. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. If you like the projects and you want them as a kit for free, I will send them as a thank you for putting in an online order between now and Monday at midnight. What is wrong with my mouth today? Between now and Monday at midnight, um, minimum order is thirty-five dollars. You can order anything you want. Then Tuesday, I cut the kits and I ship them on Wednesday. Uh, this week's kits went out. No, they they went out on time. I was thinking they were going to go out late. Did they go out late? They may have gone out yesterday because I was out of town Monday, so I've kind of been a day behind. So if you or ordered last week, um, and you're expecting the. Um, what did we do last week? I can't even remember. Oh, changing leaves projects. I, I think I mailed them a day late. So, um, but they're coming. They're on the way. Um, you'll need the, uh, stamp set. You're also going to need, there's one die in here today. I'm not sure I'll be able to die, die cut all of them because it's a very delicate die. And I'll show you that. And then um, I do use two other sentiment stamp sets, but you can use whatever sentiments you want. Um, but I'll send you the embellishments, the paper, um, any die cuts that you need. Oh, look, this one has two ribbons in it. I wonder why. 
Hmm. Somebody got lucky. Two bows. Um, okay, and then that's it. Order whatever you want, but you will need the stamp set, or you can, of course, use whatever stamp set you have. All right, are you guys ready? Did you check the post? Is it up? Is Carly here? I didn't check it, um, but I did schedule it. Um, let's see, did anybody check the post and see if it's up? I'm looking back through comments. <sighs> do, 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 do. We finally feel like fall here. It's so nice. If now, now we just need some rain. I would take a rainy fall day any day. I do like a, kind of a dark and cool rainy day. All right, today all three projects are using Stampin' Blends. Um, you don't have to use Stampin' Blends when you color. They are my um, coloring medium of choice but you could use watercolor pencils, you could use um, a blender pen, you could use watercoloring, whatever you want. But I'm gonna use Stampin' Blends, okay? Um, Lois, you can't comment and watch. Is something wrong with it? Okay, good, the post is up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for checking. All right, the first card, of course, you guys, you know I'm gonna use the pumpkin image. And the reason I love this so much is because it reminds me of my oldest daughter. Um, it looks like her, she wears her hair like that, she wears overalls, and she's just silly. So this, this reminded me of her, and I'm gonna color it to look just like her. This paper back here is again from that autumn paper. I can't get these things off the tray. Hold on. What? My nails keep me from picking things up, which is seems like that's opposite, but it does. Um, this is the paper. What's it called again? Splendid Autumn. We used we've used it three weeks in a row now, but I don't know if these are pumpkins, but they kind of look like pumpkins to me, so I use those for the background of our cute little girl. All right, let's do our stamping first, okay? I love pumpkins too, Kimberly, a lot, a lot. My husband is very patient with me. I buy all kinds of pumpkins to put on our porch and then they rot and they're gross by the time it's time to get rid of them and he hates it. <laughs> but he never, he sees me bringing home pumpkins every time I go to the grocery store and he never complains. But uh, he did say this last time, that last year he said that the, when he scraped them <laughs> off the porch that he almost lost it. So I felt kind of bad. You know, when we buy pumpkins here in San Antonio, we buy them when it's still 100 degrees. And it's 100 degrees for like the first half of the time that they're out there. So they, you know, they, they, they turn to mush pretty quick. They, well, okay. I, that's probably an exaggeration. Some of them turn mushy, but most of them will stay. He takes them then and um, takes them to his deer feeder and puts them under the deer feeder and the deer love them. So, you know, I just would tell him we're supporting his, his hunting by buying all those pumpkins. <laughs> all right, I am starting with Boho Blue. Um, Boho Blue is an in color that I never ever use. But when I started putting this project together, I wanted to use a color that would make the orange, the pumpkin, kind of pop out. And orange and blue are um, opposite colors on the color wheel, if you didn't know that. And so they look really good together. And so I was thinking um, overalls, which of our blues is closest to denim, and I think boho blue is it. Speaking of color wheel, let me show you guys this. Next month, we have this new color wheel coming out. We actually got this at our um, demonstrator event in um, March and everybody went crazy over it. So Stampin' Up's actually gonna have it on as an online exclusive. And it's really cool because you can turn the wheel and it'll tell you complementary colors and then it'll show you so you can see like blue and orange are across from each other, pink and green. Um, it just kind of helps you um, put colors together. So if you're interested in this, be on the lookout. It'll be available in November. It's already out of stock. It's very popular. Hopefully they get it back in stock before 
before the time that it's supposed to go on sale. Popular, very popular. All right, I'm gonna start with pumpkin pie light for our big pumpkin. And I started there with a the brush end, but switched over to that bullet end just because I knew I was gonna get out of line. But then I'm gonna take my dark and flick a little bit. No, my brush end's still not working the way I want it to. All right, I'm just gonna kind of outline those little lines like that with the dark and then put a shadow like that. And then I'll come back with this brush end and kind of blend that color up to the top, okay? And then the next one we'll do is Cajun Craze and we'll do Cajun Craze Light. Boy, Cajun Craze gets a lot of use here in the fall. I don't know about you guys, but I sure do use it a lot. Um, Nancy, I don't remember how much the color wheel is. I wanna say $12, is that right? Those of you that have access to the demonstrator website, can you look that up and tell us how much the color wheel is? I didn't, I didn't order it because I already have one and I don't remember the price. All right, the last pumpkin is peach pie. Now, my daughter is a dirty blonde, and so I'm gonna use light wild wheat. Wild wheat is another color that's been getting a lot of use around here. I do love it. It is a great fall color. So light and then some dark. Okay, Katie says 12.50. Oh, Karen says 15. Now, now you guys, which one is it? The color wheel. Which one is it? Between 12 and 15. <laughs> um, we have skin tone markers that you can use. Um, they're not called skin tone, they're called natural blend, natural tone blends. I always call them skin tone. So use whatever one you want. Lois says 12.50. Okay, it looks like the, the consensus is 12.50 on the color wheel. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. In the US, 12.50. Oh, I bet Canadian is 15, huh? A, I should say. Um, I am using pecan pie for the boots. My daughter, my oldest daughter is a senior in college and she is a studio art major. Painting is her main thing. And she has turned full art student this year. She is dressing like an artist. She's just, she is coming into her own. Uh, I look back at pictures of her from high school and I think, wow, she's, she's changed. Oh, Canadian is 17. And I don't mean that in a bad way, changed. I mean, wow, look, she's like, you know, turning into this little artist of herself. Um, I actually bought her. Do you guys, have you ever been to the store called Francesca's? It's like a little boutique type, but it's a chain and it has really cute clothes. And I think I'm too old for those clothes now, but I think it's mostly like younger. I used to buy stuff there, but not anymore. But we went to Francesca's and she got a, like, okay, you know what a painter suit is? How it's like a, basically a onesie. Um, it was that, but it was like hot pink and it was so cute. And I'm like, if anybody can pull this cute little outfit off, it is her. Her main colors that she's been painting are kind of, I don't know, she's just been sticking with pinks and greens. Um, which is funny to me because that wasn't necessarily what I would have thought. She does a lot of, um, her theme really is kind of like from childhood to womanhood, like she's been doing things, looking back on pictures from her childhood and doing like comparison painting. I, I don't even know how to explain it. She has an art show coming up and uh, I'll share pictures with you guys, but she, she does a lot of abstract stuff too. And she doesn't fully know what she's gonna do next year. She's hoping to get into graduate school, but we shall see, I'm sure she will. All right, now you're gonna have to get your snips out guys for this. I know I'm talking while I'm doing this, but you guys know, stay real close outside of the black line, stay in the center of your blade. And this is the only project you're fussy cutting today, I promise, okay? So there she is. Isn't she the cutest? She's very cute. All right, now we've got this. We're going to, this is that die I was saying, I don't know if I can cut enough of these, depending on how many kits I have to mail out next week. But this is a, you could use any kind of 
um, you know, what was that other, what was that other die set we had last year? That was um, Cottage, Cottage Wreaths. That's the one I'm thinking of. So you could use that. But what this one is from is Encircled in Nature. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic. This is the first time I've used it. So this one right here. And then I'm going to take, you know, I think maybe, I don't know. Yeah, let's use this. This is, this is uh, also Encircled in Nature. My original, no, my second one I think I actually used the circle die so you could use a circle die too but that kind of gives you a little kind of a rough cut and then we're gonna use this forever plaid embossing folder forever plaid thank you Michelle yeah she's I think she's pretty good too of course I'm her mom and my mom thinks she's pretty good my mom is an artist herself um, but of course she's grandma but I think she's pretty good. We'll see. She wants to be an art professor. That's what she says. No, you know, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what she wants to do. All right, Forever Plaid. There we go. And I, today I made a card for next week and it is these, it's these same colors because I just love this boho blue with the oranges so much that you're going to see it again next week. All right, now, dimensionals. Um, I left her shirt white, by the way, just to simplify things. Um, let's see, we're gonna put dimensionals. Where's my dimensional bowl? We're gonna put dimensionals in the corner. This is a three and three fourths by three and three fourths piece of the designer series paper. And you could use really most of those prints in there and they would be fine. Um, I was going to say something else, and now I forgot. Don't you love when that happens? I can't remember what I was saying. Thank you. Yeah, Nancy, that's right. You guys have seen her painting behind me, the big cactus painting. That is one of hers, and she did that for me um, when we moved in this house. She likes to do really big paintings. Right now, she's working on one that's six feet tall, and I'm like, honey, you know, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> You know, I, and it, it's, I mean, maybe she could sell it, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm like, you need to work smaller. You need to work smaller. She did a portrait for somebody um, of their grandmother, and it was really big, too, but it was a commission, and it was really pretty. She says, I just like to do big paintings. I'm like, yeah, but you could get more of them done if you did smaller ones. Maybe. All right, so glue your frame like that. And then ahead of time, I stamped the Hey Pumpkin on a Cajun Craze stylish shape banner and embossed it with gold embossing powder. And we're gonna put that right there like that. And then we'll get our little, our little girl and we're gonna put her on with dimensionals as well. I can get the backings off like that. Well, you know what? This needs to go over a little bit. When you stamp this, stamp it over on the right side so you have room to put your... Okay, now everything's coming off. Stay. Okay, hey, what's happening, you guys? The paper is going rogue. Stay where I put you glue do your job all right now let's try this again there we go all right last but not least a little bit of cajun craze or no we decided that this was copper clay last week that's right not cajun craze copper clay linen thread and do you see what happened i had to pull it out from the end because i couldn't find or i had to you know i couldn't find the end of it and so I had to start it on the, and now I'm going to have a rat's nest. Don't you hate when that happens? I'm just impatient though. I don't want to have to sit there and look and look and look and look for the end of the twine. <laughs> Brooke.
Brandy, so am I changing your mind? Is that what you're saying? Everything is bigger in Texas. You're right, Nancy. Yes, you are correct. And you know, when I say that, I have to laugh because she gets it from her mom. I mean, I always, everything is, you know, over the top. I can't do anything simple or small, so I can't blame her. All right, there's our card. I'm just going to put a piece of basic white on the inside. Um, one thing I did think about yesterday as I was recording the YouTube video for this is, you know, when you cut this paper down to three and three fourths, you have uh, some strips and you could just put one inside, which I didn't do, but you could. All right, there you go. Brandy is very cute. Yes, I think you need it. Very cute. Um, you know, I'm usually not attracted necessarily to these sets, but it had pumpkins. I was like, okay, I'll get it. And, and I love all of it. I love all the images. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like that. There is that one. Let's move this out of the way and look at the second one. Now, the second one is a fun fold. And it is a fun fold based on a fun fold one of you sent me. And I don't know who it was. Because it doesn't, I lost, oh wait, maybe it says inside. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, and I did mine a little bit different than that. But some one of you sent this to me. And, you, and I don't know who it was. But I'm copying it. Isn't that pretty? So that's what we're doing. Mine's a little bit different. A little bit, a little bit different, okay? Okay, let's, let's make the card first. All right, let's do that part first. Um, it is a lot of pieces, this card. It has a lot of pieces. So I included all of the measurements on the PDF. It's not hard. There's just a lot of pieces. All right, you're gonna start with a five and a fourth by 11 inch piece of real red. And I think I have my markers in the right place, but let me make sure. One and three fourths, three and a half, five and a fourth, and seven. All right, so we're gonna do that, 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 and that. Okay, now, you wanna accordion fold this, okay? The first one goes back, forward, back, forward like that. Now, get your trimmer, if I can find one, and we're gonna cut one inch down, okay? So one inch from this edge down between the first and the third score line, okay? So your trimmer, your trimmer has a ruler right here, and if you put tape, like I just put some painter's tape underneath it. My other one has some washi tape on underneath, some yellow washi tape, which I think I can actually see better, but I don't know where that trimmer is. I couldn't find it. Um, so put if you put some just tape on this side, it'll help you, because I don't know about you guys, but I cannot see that ruler when I am looking at it without the tape. So right here, there's a one inch mark right here on your, on that side of the cutting plate. Put your cardstock there. And then remember our first score line is one and three fourths. So I'm gonna take my blade and go in right at one and three fourths. And I'm gonna stop basically at the third line, which is at five and a fourth. So I'm gonna slide it down and stop right there. Okay, and I went too far, look at that. I went way too far, but oh well. We're gonna cover it up, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. All right, let's try it again. The other thing you can do is just eyeball it, which is probably what I need to do. Eyeball it until you get to that line, and let's see. Oh, perfect. All right, so you've done that one inch from the top and one inch from the bottom, and then it, this part pops out, and these parts pop in, okay, like that. You guys see, see how that, I mean, it's, it's not difficult. And that's it, that's your card. Now I am using the Take A Bow Designer Series Paper Pack. Do we wanna use, mm, I don't know, that's tricky. I like all, I like both sides, but I think because we're gonna use some green in our coloring. Oh, I don't know, I really like the polka dots. What do you guys think, should we do polka dots? Or should we do stripes? Let me look on the iPad and see which one I like. Oh, the polka dots. Mm, I don't know, what do you guys think? 
polka dots or stripes? Hi, Gail. Good to see you. Hi, Tiffany. Good to see all of you guys here. Thank you for joining me today. I'm waiting to see. Dots. Joan says dots. Dots. Oh, two votes for dots. I'm going to get five votes and then I'm going to decide. Oh, three, do three dots. Oh, there's a stripes. Dots. I think dots are going to win. Let me see two more people. Two more votes. Polka dots. I think we're going with polka dots. Yeah, you guys, I know, it's cute. This one, I use polka dot, the polka dots, but it has the multicolors. But I wanted to use any, you could show you that you could use any of the patterns in this pack, because they're all the same color scheme. So we'll go with the polka dots. Okay, polka dots it is. All right, so two long strips of designer series paper. I believe they're one and a half by five. And then you get these little three-fourths of an inch pieces that go right here. Okay. I got this new color on my nails today, you guys. You know, usually I'm pink. I like it, but when I look underneath my nails, it looks like I have dirt under my nails. <laughs> it's a little jarring. All right, so then this pops out, and we're going to put... We're going to put our little girl here on the front, but we want to put a piece of paper, DSP right here, like that, okay? And then you're going to get a piece of garden green that is five and a half by four and a fourth, and you're going to stick this right in the middle of it, like that. And then I have a piece of... Granny Apple Green and Basic White. And we'll layer those. And we'll put those, that one right there in the middle. I like those colors together. Granny Apple, Garden Green, and Real Red. Okay, now let's color our little girl. Now I'm gonna show you, I did something different to her too. Um, she's She looks like she's wearing like yoga pants or leggings. This is really what they probably are, leggings, not yoga pants. And uh, I wanted to add a pattern to them, so we're gonna do that. So stamp her in memento black, and we're gonna start with real red light. And we'll start with her leggings. Color it all the way in. These images are actually pretty easy to color. They're not super involved. They don't take too long. All right, and then get your dark. And I'm just gonna add some shadowing like that, kind of around the bottom of her leg and then down the side of that leg. And then take your brush end of your light and just kind of blend that out. But we don't want it to be just boring old red leggings. They need to be striped leggings. So take your real red um, stamp and write marker and just lightly draw in some stripes. Okay? And then turn it the other way and do stripes the other way. So now she's got plaid. Let me show you. Plaid leggings. I don't know if I could get away with plaid leggings like that. Black maybe, but <laughs> I don't know if I could pull off some red leggings, but she's cute and she can for sure. All right, so that's the stamp and write marker that I used. Okay, uh, while we have our red, let's do the bow. I, you know, another thing you could do is stamp her on that paper that we just used and cut the leggings out of the pattern paper and glue them down onto this piece. That would be really cute. Then she would have Christmas leggings. All right, and she's got this headband like that. Um, okay, the wreath, we're gonna do Granny Apple Green. How many of you are excited for Christmas. Like, I'm sure there are some of you that are like, yes, Christmas, can't wait, I'm gonna have my tree up for four months, 
Do we have any of those of you on here? I am not like that. I, I like Christmas, but I've told you guys, it just, I don't know, it's just a lot of added stress. I don't know why I feel like that, and I wish I didn't, but I do. We have two birthdays during the Christmas holiday season also, so it's just chaos. Chaos. Oh, Nancy the Mod Squad, yes. Yes, I could see that for sure. All right, I'm adding in some, some dark green there under the bow and under her arm and we'll just take that and kind of blend that out and down all right i'm gonna use this is i have number 500 on it it says number 500 but i believe it's the medium combo natural tones stand blend but you again use whatever color you want and then i'm just going to use light basic black for her hair careful with that black because it is dark and you can lose your details from your stamp in there so just go kind of light all right this is cute um oh i forgot her neck and her hands i do that every time go there we go there we go there we go okay last but not least i'm gonna take my and i cannot find my pool party stand and blend i do not know where it went so the next best thing is balmy blue right is that what i have yes and i'm just gonna outline her very lightly it kind of makes her jump off the paper a little bit, gives her a little glow around the edges, which I think is fun when you're not cutting it out. This gives you a little bit of dimension from your image. Okay, just very lightly kind of just dot that color around. You don't really want it to stand out. You just want it to just kind of give her a little more I don't know. Can you guys see? It looks like there's a shadow behind her now. I need to do something about her mouth. I completely covered her, colored her face last time, but let's add a little, uh, let's do petal pink and see what that looks like right there. There we go. Yeah, that's good. You can even give her some little rosy cheeks. That's fun too. Okay. That's it. Now we're going to, we are going to, Put her down on a garden green mat like that and then we are gonna just put her let's do I want to do dimensionals I think I do because the answer to do I want to add dimensionals is always yes always well I feel like we need one more right there um tell me guys what you want to see in the next the next four facebook fridays what do you guys want to see it's going to be christmas after next week wall to wall christmas um this stamp i didn't tell you is from the christmas labels um, the stamp in this set is cute it says deck the halls with wreaths and holly which is really cute but I, I needed it to hide. I wasn't, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of put that up there, but I didn't want to cover her up. So I decided to go with it in here. And I went with a shorter Christmas sentiment from the Christmas labels. And that's a Christmas labels die as well. So I embossed it with white embossing powder on a garden green. Frosted Forest. Patricia, I was really looking at that one today. Frosted Forest. Shepherd's Care. Katie is on my list for sure. Christmas Friends. Angelique. Yes, I like that one a lot too. I will probably do that one. Um, I know, Gail. Christmas is just coming too fast. Always I say that every year. All right, last but not least, let's add a little bow. Look, I had to I jack this one up too. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. There we go. No? No, it's not going to give it to me. Where's the end? How, why do they tuck the ends in? You can't find it. And then it just becomes this big 
mess. Let's see what else you guys say. Shepherd's care. Thanks, Tony Les. I appreciate it. Les Tony. Tony Les. Les Tony. <laughs> um, naughty or nice, Brittany. Yes. Okay. On my list. Um, the surfing Santa is for sure going to be one. He's very cute. As I try to untangle this enough to get enough to make a double bow. Let's snip that. Yeah, Shepherd's Care seems to be really popular. I'm intimidated by that stamp set. Dear Santa, mm-hmm, that is definitely on my list. I can't think. What about Yuletide Village? Is that what it's called, the little houses? I think it's really cute. And that it could, it could do, it has a lot of possibilities. Yuletide Village, I think is what it's called. Where are my glue dots? Right here. Um, we have a whole bunch of new products coming out November 5th, I believe. But they're not Christmas related. So we'll save those because I, you know, it's getting to that time where we're going to need to do our Christmas stuff. All right, there you guys go. What do you think? You like that one, Angelique? Okay, yeah, it's cute. Encircled in whatever it's called? Yes, <laughs> Cynthia, that's exactly what I call it. Encircled in whatever. Um, yes, and we use that over here, and I actually was looking at it today as well for next week. Um, yes, give it to the dog. It'll help. Un <laughs> Nancy, you're very, you're very right. My dog loves twine. I should totally give it to her. I should totally give it to her. That's very funny. She hasn't gotten into twine in a while because she uh, she's inside the house now. She has been out here with me, though, since she's by herself. She can't stand to be in the house by herself. Okay. Oh, did I forget? I forgot the embellishments, you guys. Yes. Um, these adhesive-backed peppermints, they are out of stock. They are flying off the shelf. They're due back next week. They're, they may be one of the cutest embellishments we've ever had. Um, and they're kind of like a, like a resin, like almost like a plastic or something. I don't know. They feel, they, they, I don't know, foamy or something. I don't know. They feel kind of cool too. So if you haven't got those and you've been waiting, they should be back in stock next week. Okay. I always forget the embellishments, don't I? Let's move this out of the way. Is there anything else over here? Let me take this. We need uh, this. And I think that's it. Ooh, it looks like it might rain outside. What? Rain? What is rain? I think it's probably been a month since we've seen rain. At least. At least a month. Okay, one more. And you guys know me. I'm always looking for a treat box. Um, the There's four girls in this stamp set. The girl with a donut, or I guess it's a cookie. Now that I'm looking at it, I thought it was a donut. Well, my, my card, my bonus card may not make sense now that I'm looking at it. I totally thought that was a donut. And now I see that it's a, it's a snowman. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then we have this girl right here with the apples. Um, and she's very dressed up, very fancy for apple picking, but I like her. So I made a double hinge box. Do you guys see? We've made these, but it's been a while double hinge and it opens like this and inside have you guys seen these uh they're new to me but suddenly i'm seeing them everywhere um i've seen them at tg maxx i've seen them at target i've got these at cvs they're apple pie stuffed oat bites all right and that's what's inside the box all right so the box closes like that and we just slide the belly band on like that okay all right let's make the box first because it's going to need some time to dry and i will give you um just a little bit of a fair warning i screwed this box up royally when i was recording earlier today so hopefully i got the kinks worked out and i'm not going to screw it up royally 
in front of you guys. Because at least I can um, edit. Nancy, I haven't tasted it yet. I haven't tasted it. It does say plant-based, well, I mean apples and oats, dairy-free. That looks really good to me, that inside part. I don't know. Has anybody tried them? The, I bought some other pumpkin ones, too, that I haven't done anything with. Uh, oh, <laughs> I love it when I can change y'all's mind. I love it. That's the whole point. It's like a like a, a show. Can I win them over? Can I win them over for the stamp set? All right, we're going to start with Lost Lagoon. And this is where I got really messed up earlier. This piece is six and three fourths by five and a fourth. We're gonna score it at one and a fourth on all four sides, okay? Then you're gonna get two pieces of lo uh, Pretty Peacock. They are four and three fourths by five and a fourth. On the long side, you're gonna score it one and a fourth and four. And on the short side, you're gonna score it at one and two and a fourth, and you actually need two of these. So again, on the long side, one and a fourth and four, and then short side is one and two and a fourth. Um, oh, somebody says they're great. Um, Lynn says they're great, yeah. They have other flavors. What are the other flavors? I've seen many of them. And I really wasn't paying much attention until of course then I was like, oh, well I need some treat something non-candy related. Let's see what these are. And then it always makes me nervous to buy food at TJ Maxx. But I mean, I don't know why. Everything has been fine that I've bought there. It just feels like it's not the right place to buy food. <laughs> okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is cut the corners off. Okay. So just cut diagonally. Cut, cut, cut. Snip, snip, snip. Corner to corner. Then on the short side, you're gonna cut that score line right up until the horizontal score line and stop. Okay, up like that and like that. All right, now as always, I'm gonna use liquid glue because here in South Texas, it is 60%, 70% humidity every single day and other adhesives pop open. This one does not. So I'm gonna fold those and I put adhesive on the triangles and I'm folding them up into the side and using my clothes pins to hold it closed. You can use tear and tape, stamp and seal plus, whatever you, whatever works for you. All right, little clothes pins. Make sure that your sides are even, okay? So let's set that aside. Now for these guys, boy, my glue is almost out and it looks disgusting. We're gonna burnish the lines on these. Hi Darcy, glad you joined us. All right, now down here on these corners, we're gonna cut these and I'm gonna cut in at an angle right here because this part is gonna go underneath the box and we want those corners to be hidden. So cut in like that, okay, and then up, and cut that off. And then we're just gonna cut that, and cut that, and adhesive on the squares. You know, I need my glue holder because that way I won't have to wait for the glue to drip down each time. All right, close that like that. I know I didn't put the lid on my glue. I'm gonna use it again in a second. All right, so fold those down into the sides. See how that is? This is what it looks like, okay? We're gonna do one more and then we'll do our coloring. Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon look so good together. And then you bring in wild wheat, and it's just very regal, I think. Nice, rich fall colors, jewel tones that like we talked about last week. All right, we're doing the exact same thing here. Okay, 
glue, glue. Now I'll put the lid on and fold those in. Two more clothes pins and we'll sit there and let it dry. Okay, so these are the pieces that you have right now. That's what they look like, okay? Make sure, yeah. <laughs> when I did my video this morning, the box was too small, but it was because I scored it at one and a half instead of one and a fourth. All right, now we're gonna stamp our girl in Memento Black again. And this is the greetings of the season dies. They're tags. I've been using these probably like every week. They're a great set of dies. All right, there's our girl. And we'll start with a Lost Lagoon dress. Okay, and it kind of ends over here, like you don't know where it ends. So I just kind of took a took my marker and just like drew a line like that. Okay, so color that. And I don't know who's, maybe she's, I don't know, maybe she's decorating with apples, but she's dressed up for the apple farm, if that's what she's doing. All right, now take your dark Lost Lagoon and go in like that, adding some shadow. All right, then um, let's do, I'll just do her, her skin. Again, use whatever skin tone you want. Don't forget her hands down here. And her face. Okay, and you can add a little bit of shadow like that on the inside of her arm. And then I'm going to use Wild Wheat. Um, let's start with light. And we'll color her hat. Is this light? Why does this not feel like light? God, what is all over my marker? It looks like it's been covered in glue. What the heck? Probably is covered in glue. Like my hands, my shirt, my desk. All right, now take your dark. Um, let's use the brush end. And I'm gonna take the dark and just do a little bit of color there and kind of down like that. And then down here as well. And then I'll take the brush end of the light and just kind of blend it out. And while you have your light, color some of those apples, golden apples. We'll do that one. And then we'll use Cherry Cobbler Light for the other apples. I like yellow apples, they're delicious. Plus, yellow apples went better with my color scheme than green apples. <laughs> we'll add just a little bit of old olive right there for those leaves, like that. For her hair, I'm gonna use Copper Clay Kind of a reddish brown, if you will. Kind of an auburn. And then we're gonna give her some low lights with the darker copper clay, adding in a little bit like that. Um, we need to take our Lost Lagoon and do her hat band. Very skinny, so just kind of tap that color in very lightly. And then we will do crumb cake for the basket. Carefully around her hand. Do you guys go apple picking where you're at? I don't know if we have, I feel like we might have that here. I don't know, we should know that. I don't think we do. I don't think apples grow here. I don't know. All right, there she is. There she is, very pretty. Now, again, I ventured to another um, stamp set for the sentiment because I was trying to keep it simple, just down here. Um, these other sentiments are big and they will be fine inside of a card, but I didn't want to cover her up. So I'm gonna use the thanks 
And we're gonna use, oh, right here. Oh, you guys, no, I told you. I told you we had another snake. That was last week, Never mind. Because I was about to say if it was a snake, it would have bit me, but I'm not saying that anymore because that's a little too close to home. We didn't have another snake. I already told you guys about it. Okay, so we got our girl. Here is the Regal Winter Designer Series paper. Again, remember last week I told you guys I didn't think I would use this paper at all? And now I'm using it a lot. These monochromatic patterns on the back. See, it's the floral in the front. That's just a stylus shaped circle, and I'm just gonna layer that like that to give it a little more color. All right, let's bring our box pieces back. And we're gonna do, we wanna cut this, these um, sides at an angle. So get your bigger scissors and go from the bottom to the top diagonally like that. Okay, bottom to the top diagonally. And then let's do this one. Yeah, humidity is bad. A lot of places. Humidity is just, ugh, it ruins any temperature. My husband was at the coast for a fishing trip when the cold front, cool front came through and he said it didn't even feel good. You guys, my box is not right, wait. Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay. He said um, the uh, cool front came through, but it didn't even feel that good because the humidity was so high. So it can even ruin the cool front. All right. Put your adhesive on this little lip right here, and we're going to place the box on the left side of, see like that underneath, and then the, then the hinge closes down like that. I'm like panicking, like worrying it's not gonna fit. Once you screw it up, then you're like paranoid every other time you make it. All right, so put that, this one, to the right side of the hinge, and it closes like that. And they they, co they uh, go over each other like that. Okay, something's happening here, something's happening. There we go. No, something's crooked. Let's put our treat in and see if that holds it down. All right, treat. It's a little bit bigger if you don't want to use the apple pie stuffed oat bites. You could use, I don't know. I did buy the little apple pie fruit pies, you know, the little Debbie ones, but decided to go with this treat instead. A little more regal winter. Close it. Come on, what is happening? Lay down. There we go. Close. And then we will get our cherry cobbler. There we go. Cherry cobbler ribbon. This ribbon I like a whole lot. It's very light. Why is it doing that? It's very light and not bulky. Um, so it will not bulk your projects up. If you're looking for a ribbon for your Christmas cards, this is the ribbon for you. Cherry cobbler with gold trim. All right, now I'm gonna use the gold. This is a gold trim, it comes with silver and gold, and we're gonna put that through there, and we're gonna put that under there, and we're gonna tie that to that and now you have a double bow but it doesn't have to be untied they can just slip it off and it'll stay intact like a belly band there you go snip and snip there you go kind of a fancy little treat box don't you think kind of a fancy treat box for your fancy friends all right, there we go. And now I have three of them. All right, what do you guys think? I love those colors together. And those are not my normal colors. They are not my normal colors. Okay, let me show you my bonus project, projects. First, this one, I had to, I had to draw, I had to color Ellie again. There she is. Um, this is a stamp from the set. Again, I was really having trouble getting the, the sentiment to fit 
but I used this uh, tag and cut off the edge and then it worked pretty good. There's our folder like we did last week with the changing leaves. And then I carried that over on the inside. I would pick you over and over again. Isn't that a cute sentiment? Now this one, I knew it was a snowman. You know what, it's not a cookie, is it? Now I'm seeing it, it's a snow globe. Is it a snow globe? What is it? It's a snow globe, isn't it? What do you guys think? Do you see the little that little line right there? Well, we're gonna pretend it's a cook. A, it's a donut. So I added donuts. Why would you have that sentiment though? I would pick you over and over if it was a snow globe. What other sentiment would go with that? Memories of you warm my heart. I don't know. I'm calling it a donut. Yeah, I think it's a snow globe too, but we're gonna pretend like it's a donut. I'm gonna go get my white out and I'm gonna white that out and I'm gonna call it a donut, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's a snow globe. I had to put my glasses on to see. Oh, also I wanted to show you this paper. Um, this is paper that's coming out next week. No, next month. And it's Valentine paper. It's got a marble, gold marble on one side, and then uh, these really cute pink and red patterns on the back side. It's a little sneak peek for you. Gail, white out. You know, you know what? I actually screwed up. Let me just show you guys this card. I uh, smeared ink right there, and so I did put a little bit of white out on it just for the photograph. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to cover it with an embellishment. Can you guys see that? <laughs> I mean, you do what you gotta do. When you when you are done with a card and you smear ink on it, you're like, you know what? I'm not redoing that card. All right, well, we're going with it and I'm calling it a, a donut. And then the sentiment would make sense because you would pick a donut out of all the other donuts, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, if you guys like today's projects and you would like a kit, a make and take kit. Um, yeah, I do have a sand eraser, Michelle, but it wasn't, I can't remember. It was like memento or something. It wasn't going to come off. Um, if you guys would like a make and take kit with today's projects, I will send it to you for free uh, with a $35 order. You can order anything you want at stampinup.com. Here's the host code. Use the host code if your order is under 150 if your order is over 150, don't, oh, you guys can't see this, the host code because I'm zoomed in. Don't use the host code because uh, you'll get Stampin' Rewards and I'll still send you the projects for free. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week. Thanks everybody. Bye.